A mechanic at the University of Minnesota is blowing the whistle after what he discovered in a building on campus. How troubled are you by what you've seen in here? Oh, extremely. I mean, I'm, I fear for people's lives in this building. In the event of a power outage, Bruce Ballantyne points to exit signs and emergency lights with little or no battery power left. What's worse, a door he says would trap people trying to escape a fire. He found it all inside the Education Sciences Building on a recent inspection. But when WCCO's Liz Collin asked the college about it, despite national standards, it seemed to downplay any risk. Nobody's life should be in danger coming to the University of Minnesota. A building mechanic at the U for 33 years, Bruce Ballantyne took WCCO behind the scenes to better understand the assignment that's left even a seasoned vet stunned. And right now you think lives are in danger? Uh, I would tell anybody, the loved one that comes to work here, goes to school here, teaches here, know where your exits are. If you don't, Ballantyne says, don't expect the exit signs to lead you to one in the event of a lasting power outage. See these red flashing lights on the side of the signs? It means they need new batteries. I think I found problems with 17 to 18. Half of the signs in the Education Sciences Building on East River Road, four floors that students and staff walk through every day. Faculty offices line some hallways. A busy Dunn Brothers is also inside. There's a lot of good people here at the university that don't know this is going on. Valentine holds the proof in his hand. What different lights mean from the sign itself? It tells you exactly what's wrong with them. Right there in red letters, red flashing, battery failure. That is a high bay emergency light. Valentine found more problems with what are called emergency lights in the building. Killed the power, and he says this is not what this should look like. All of them should be on. Every one of those should be on. Ballantyne recorded battery outages in 50 of these throughout the building, or about a quarter of all emergency lights. But it's this fire door that has him most frustrated. If the smoke alarm goes off, the door is going to close. The exit sign above it should signal you'd be able to get out this way. Not here. It locks. It will not open without a key. Ballantyne hasn't inspected this building himself since 2013. He blames less experienced mechanics for not catching these issues sooner. You shouldn't have this many things wrong in one building. When WCCO first took Ballantyne's findings to the U, a spokesperson said a supervisor told them everything is fine, this building is in working order. But no one would go on camera. A spokesperson then said that fire door is now unlocked, calling the original setup a mistake. A statement from the U went on to say the exit lights in the Education Sciences Building are inspected biannually to ensure they are working properly and that the lights use a backup power source so they will remain lit in the event of a power outage. But Ballantyne says because the batteries are failing, there's no way to tell how long they'll last. Even standards from the National Fire Protection Association say it's not possible to set a hard and fast rule. In all, Ballantyne's in charge of 20 buildings on the East Bank and calls this the worst inspection he's seen. The one right over the stairs he should be worried about. Sending a message now to everyone he knows, no matter where they go. Look to see where the closest exit is because you don't know. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. Ballantyne has submitted his work order for new batteries and they should be changed in 10 business days. The 120 mechanics within the U system have been working without a contract for three months. Their union scheduled a strike authorization vote for next week.